Okay, today we're going to have a look at how we can complete uh, the Hooke's Law practical. Um, so we're going to use a simulator to do it today, um, obviously not being able to do practicals when we're, not, when we're all at home. Um, but to do this, we're gonna, I'm going to fill in some of the results and um, hopefully we can get some sort of idea of how this would play out in real life if we were trying to do it. So first off, um, we're going to look at what we've actually got um, here. So we've got a spring, okay, and we've got some masses that we're going to add on to the spring, okay, and you will see that when you add the mass, the spring stretches. So the spring stretches, and we're going to look at how extension is affected by the weight that we put onto the spring. So first off though, what we're going to have to do is look at the mass and turn that into the weight. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need to do here first. This is a little bit more complicated than it looks. So we've got to first off think about our mass and then we don't want it in grams, we want it in kilograms. Okay, so our 50 grams will turn into 0 0.05 kilograms, our 100 grams 0 0.1 kilograms, uh, 150 grams 0 0.15 and so on. So I'm dividing those by a thousand to turn them from grams into kilograms. Right, then we want to find the weight, okay? So to find the weight, we need to do mass times gravity because weight equals mass times gravity. So I'm going to take my mass and times it by gravity which on Earth, if you remember, is 9.8, okay? So I'm gonna do 9.8 times 0 0.05. And that's gonna tell me my um, weight or my, the value for weight or the value for uh, the force pulling down. So that's the first thing you need to do. Now I'm not gonna fill in all of this for you, okay? You're gonna fill in most of this yourselves. So you want to pause the video now and you want to fill in all of the weights um, down here by times in them all by 9.8 for gravity. So pause the video now and do that. Okay, once we've done that, we're now going to start looking at how we can fill in our actual um, results here for the lengths and the extensions. Okay, because we want to get the extension we want to see how the weight affects the extension. So we should have worked out the weight now, should have done exactly what I did for that one, and you can now work out the extension for the rest of them. So, to start off, I need to know how long was the spring before we started. So if I pop this on here, that blue line there shows the natural length of the spring. So if I measure that from the top, okay, we will see so if I measure it right from the top, we'll see that the spring is 45, 6, 7, 8 centimetres long. Okay, so our spring start length is 48 centimetres. Now, luckily, that start length is not going to change because it's always going to start at 48 centimetres. Okay, so I can just pop that in for all of them. And you can do the same. So the start length is always going to be the same the end length we're going to want and then we're going to work out the extension from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 50 grams of mass on first which is going to be 0 0.05 newtons of force and then we're going to see where that has moved to. So that my red line here will show how much it's extended. So if I have a look at that it has gone down to uh, 56 centimeters so that's my new length with uh, 50 grams of force on there. So to work out my extension, all I've got to do is do my end takeaway start lengths. So end takeaway start equals my extension. So in this case, I'm going to do 56 takeaway 48. Okay, and if I do that, I'm going to get eight centimeters of extension. So I can pop that in there. 
So that's all you need to do each time. You need to take away the end length, take away the start length. So I'm going to go through the rest of this now and I'm going to fill in all the end lengths and you should have already worked out your weights and then you should be able to work out your extensions as well. Okay, so I'm just going to keep adding uh, this mass 100 grams at a time. There we go, so at 100 grams it is now or 0.1 newtons. Okay, and we move our slider down. That is now up to, I'd say, seven, uh, 65 centimetres. Add that on. And another 50 grams. It takes us down to 73 centimetres. Okay, so I'm going to just go through and fill the rest of these in uh, without you having to watch all the way through it, because I'm sure you're getting bored of watching me, um, and then we'll come back and have a look at how we can process that data back in the lesson. Okay, so if you go back into the lesson, I'll have a completed version of this, and then we can go through how we would um, turn that into data that we need. So I'll show you the completed version, and then we need to go back into the lesson. Okay, so now we've got a complete set of uh, end lengths as well. So you should now be able to calculate your extensions. So you should be able to calculate all of the extensions that you've got there. Um, and you should be able to work out the weights uh, down here by doing the mass times 9.8 for gravity. And once you've done that, then we'll uh, go and have a look back through these. So I will put a link in the description for this simulator. So if you do fancy having a go at this yourselves, uh, you are able to do that. And if you want to have a go at yourself and see if you get the same results or different to me, um, you are uh, able to do that then if you can do it on your computer at home. Okay, so um, once you finish this, you should be able to go back into the lesson and then we will have a look at how we can process this data, put it into a graph and see what it tells us.